these sponsors are proud to be associated with the Seven Networks coverage of the 1994 AFL Premiership season. and welcome to the Melbourne Cricket Ground. What a match we've got tonight. North Melbourne up against Carlton. The Blues already out. No changes by the look of it. And North Melbourne coming out onto the ground. It's been a wet, cold day in Melbourne. It's been raining over the last four or five minutes. And as I said earlier, this is a big match because it's two versus three on the ladder. North Melbourne in second position. They've been in the top four throughout the season. The Blues started with two losses. They've climbed their way up on the ladder and they've been in the top four for the last three weeks. And they're at a season high at number three. Last week, North lost by five points to Richmond. Carlton thumped St Kilda, and one of their best players last week was Greg Williams. He had 33 disposals. He's the Brownlow medalist favourite. He was reported last week for this incident with Robert Harvey, and uh, during the week, he was found not guilty. And Chris Dew was also reported for allegedly tripping in that same match, and he, too, is playing tonight. So Carlton had the breaks earlier in the week, and their favourites tonight, Jared Healy, is going to be a terrific match. It should be. Most people seem to have written off North Melbourne, but I, for the life of me, can't see why. Carlton are in terrific form. They've won their last four, as you said. But North Melbourne cannot be underestimated. They've got some very good players coming back in. And uh, I think we're going to see a pretty competitive game. Four changes to North Melbourne. Interestingly, Pyme in his first match for the year. And Martin coming in and also Archer. Well, Mickey Martin uh, is an important player. He missed a few weeks with a, uh, with a collapsed lung. But he did tr pr pretty well on uh, Stephen Kernahan this time last year. So it's a surprise to see if uh, he wasn't playing on him. Glenn Archer, well, I think he could be a surprise selection up forward. Peter Mann's an important player for them because North Melbourne last week seemed to just uh, go away from their game plan without Carey there and they broke down badly at centre half forward. Speaking of centre half forwards, there's one that uh, has been one of the all-time greats. Probably play at full forward tonight. Brett Allison is also a, a very important player for North, particularly in the light of Nichols not playing. One change for the Blues, the Ulio replaced by Alvin. Yes, and, uh, well, Greg Williams, we saw him on camera uh, not so long ago, and, boy, it's good to see Neil Buzzy in a uh, flexible mood. Uh, he'll be picked up, perhaps, by Rock, Stevens, or Clarkson, and it will be an interesting point to see what sort of policy get North Melbourne take. Will it be one of exploitation on Greg Williams with a runner, or one of eradication with a tagger? Now, Adrian Gleeson's also been in good form, and Earl Spaulding hasn't played in a losing side for Carlton this year. David Parkins, 200th game as coach for the Blues. Good crowd building up at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. It should be a wonderful match between the two top Victorian-based teams at this stage of the year. The old one went west in the storm along with the roof. It was 20 years old, but they replaced it with a brand new sofa. Yes, 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 new for old. Most of them are doing it now. What about fair dinkum new for old? You know, with no surprises and nothing to leave you out of pocket. What sort of insurance company does that? Don't tell me. RACV Insurance. It's not just another insurance company. Right now, your next McDonald's...